hello, my name is Dr. Kate O'Reilly and I'm a medical manager for the medical information and analysis team. The International SOS Foundation teamed up with Kingston University and Affinity Health at Work to look at the emotional well-being and psychological effects of travel on the business traveller. They found that two-thirds were more engaged with their work as a result of business travel, but a third experienced emotional stress, a feature of burnout, on a regular basis. There are many factors. These include poor sleep and diet, and jet lag definitely contributes to this, as well as eating in airports and not having regular meal times. Um, poor work-life balance, when people are away from home, they tend to work irregular hours and attempted to work late. And feeling isolated, being away from friends and family and loved ones, um, these all add up to increased traveller stress. In our study with Kingston University, we found that only 11% of organisations had implemented a policy or procedure to support business travellers with mental health issues. I think mental health in general is a difficult topic. Um, people are very reluctant to open up about mental health issues, especially at work. It's much easier to tell people if you've got an injury or broken a leg, but to talk about depression or anxiety it seems to still carry a stigma within the workplace. To tackle mental health amongst the business traveller population, it's really important to make sure that your travel policy is up to date. And then alongside your employee assistance programme, look at ways that you can engage with the traveller when they're travelling internationally. So perhaps a third party expert hotline so they can speak to someone when they're feeling at their most vulnerable. Um, it's also important to recognise that people need sleep and factoring in rest days and allowing people to recover fully from trips also promotes emotional well-being.